uh, I would also request Ms. S.K. Marwa, uh, coordinator, and also Mr. Arvind Kumar, group coordinator, MIT, and Mr. Magesh, uh, DG of CRAC, to kindly come over. Uh, welcome to all of you for this uh, another important session on day three uh, with regards to several MOUs. Uh, we also have uh, at the outset, India Semiconductor Mission is of course pleased to announce an MOU between a uh, leading India headquartered global ERD and technology solutions company, Scient YSIG Networks, a startup in systems and 5G, and IIT Hyderabad to designate the platform of Koala, a 5G narrowband to uh, chip uh, architect and designated in India. So before we do that, I would now request all of you to kindly watch the video on Koala, the 5G narrowband to teach it. It's our pleasure now to invite uh, Mr. Rajanish Kini, uh, the CTO of Scient, uh, Professor Kiran Kuchi, founder of ISIC, and Professor B.S. Murthy, uh, director, IIT Hyderabad on the day. Yes. Another uh, historic moment, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's. Yes, indeed. Thank, thank you very much. Now it's time to announce an agreement between Signal Chip Innovations Mighty and CDAC for uh, design, manufacture, deployment, and maintenance of 10 lakh integrated NAVIC. Uh, navigation with Indian Constellation and GPS receivers. Signal Chip, an Indian fabulous semiconductor company, has developed Agumbe series of uh, baseband, modem, and RF uh, chipsets for 5G, 4G networks with integrated support for global navigation satellite systems, including Navic. Uh, it's my pleasure to invite on the dais Sri Himamshu Kasnis, CEO, and Sri Rajesh uh, Mundara. Vice President and Co-Founder Signal Chip Innovations and Sri E. Magesh, DGCDAC, uh, Sri Vivek Khaneja, EDCDAC, Noida. Yeah. Uh, let's watch a video on uh, semiconductor design strength of India. As we rapidly embrace new age technology, semiconductors have become the new building blocks of a smarter world. With the presence of nearly all of the top 25 semiconductor design companies, India is engaging with the brightest minds in the field to create the most innovative skill hub for semiconductors. Blessed with a rich demographic dividend of a young population and a median age of 29 years, India under Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi is emerging as a global skills hub focusing on nurturing and training the talent pool for its fast-growing talent economy and the world. In the last few years, India has also delivered successful indigenous technology programs of digital payments and digital identity authentication connected to the lives of over a billion people. The quick adoption of high-end technology-based devices and growing consumer demand for electronic devices have seen a surge in the semiconductor demand and innovation with an outlay of US dollars 10 billion to create a robust and sustainable semiconductor and display ecosystem. The government's Semicon India program has also laid a roadmap to develop and train talent. Nearly 2.5% of the total outlay of Semicon India program 
is allocated to the R&D, skill development and training requirements. It includes a talent development program for the next generation of semiconductor scholars, managers and technicians and 85,000 semiconductor engineers. The India's Semiconductor Missions Design Link Incentive Scheme, DLI, to support design firms, aims to augment PM Modi's vision of the next decade being India's decade by nurturing 100 domestic semiconductor companies for ICs, chipsets, SOCs, systems and IP corps. It will facilitate the growth of not less than 20 such companies to achieve a turnover of over INR 1500 crore in the next five years. Partnering with the best and the brightest global semiconductor leaders, India is already on its way to becoming the next global hub for electronic system design and manufacturing. Well, indeed, uh, I would now request uh, Sri Raja Subramaniam, Vice President and uh, Country Director, Synopsis India on the stage. But prior to uh, inviting him on the stage, we would like to announce the partnership with the leading electronic design automation, EDA, IP and design solutions company, Synopsis, uh, Cadence Design Systems, Siemens EDA, and Silvaco for EDA tools and their design solutions for uh, chips to startup. That is C2S program being implemented by CDAC. The program aims to create specialized engineers for expanding Indian semiconductor talent in the area of VLSI and embedded system design at 100 plus institutions across the country. And uh, yes, now it's time to invite Sri Raja Supramaniam, VP and Country Director, Synopsis India on the stage. an announcement and thank you sir i will now invite sri ruchir dikshit vice president and country manager siemens ed on the stage the best wishes from the dignitaries on the dais Thank you very much. I would now invite Sri Jai Shankar Narayan Kuti, a Group Director, Sales Cadence Design Systems, on the stage. Yes, indeed. Uh, I would now invite Sri Dinesh R. Bettadapur, Vice President Sales Silvaco. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's time to announce the next MOU between Semiconductor Research Corporation, SRC USA, and IIT Bombay for next generation semiconductor RD. I would like to call upon Professor Subhashis Chaudhary, Director IIT Bombay on the desk. And MOA has been signed by IIT Bombay with uh, Dr. Todd Yonking, President SRC USA. And uh, he's not here, but we can see his photograph. Yeah, he's there. <laughs> Thank you very much. And now, Mighty is indeed pleased to announce that Professor Rao Tumala, Georgia Tech University, USA, has consented to join the Advisory Committee of India Semiconductor Mission. <laughs> professor Rao is a distinguished and uh, endowed chair professor, come sir, and uh, director emeritus, Georgia Tech, USA. He is well known as an industrial technologist, technology pioneer, and educator. Of course, the father of the system on package concept versus system on chip by the industry. 
He has been a consultant and advisor to many Fortune 500 semiconductor and systems companies. As an educator, Professor Tumala has been instrumental in setting up the largest and most comprehensive academic center funded by NSF as the first and only NSF engineering research center in electronic systems packaging in Georgia Tech. So in unison, of course, the clapping didn't come. I think I have the, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Rao. Uh, now, the next MOU is between IEEE and CDAC for skill and technical standards development in semiconductor electronics, focusing on VLSI design and electromagnetic interference. I would now invite Mr. Harish Mysore, head IEEE India, and Sri E. Magesh, DG CDAC. Dr. SD Sudarshan Magesh is already there. Dr. SD Sudarshan, ED CDAC, Bengaluru on the trays. The next announcement is an MOU between Atal Community Innovation Center and Kalasalingam Innovation Foundation, ACICKF, and CDAC for collaborative R&D product development and trainings in the areas of semiconductor technologies, power electronics, energy investing, electric vehicles. We have uh, already on stage Professor Subhadra, Director ACIC, Dr. E. Nagraj, Vice Chancellor, Kalasalingam University, and Sri E. Magesh is already there, Dr. S.D. Sudarshan, ED CDAC Bengaluru on the desk. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, uh, some QA. So, uh, questions can now be posed to the Honorable Minister, uh, the Chairman of the Steering Committee. And the dignities on the desk. The mic will come to you and you can ask the questions. <laughs> There's what there will always be there, sir. That last, yes. Hello, uh, person from PTI. Uh, I have uh, two questions to ministers and uh, with respect to MOU. Uh, There's so many MOUs that have been signed. If uh, people can share about the scope and few expected outcome of this, uh, these MOUs. And uh, two questions for Minister, are these under the scope of DLI? And the second question is that is the third day of Semicon India, what is your takeaways? What are the missing links that you have noticed and where government needs to work uh, as you move ahead in the roadmap for semiconductor ecosystem? So you're making up for all the questions that have to be asked. No, look, first, first of all, if you see the three days and the three MOUs, they talk to three different areas of the semiconductor ecosystem that we are uh, all uh, working together to catalyze. The first day, as you heard, there were these uh, MOUs of investment, uh, primarily lead, led by applied materials, manufacturing. The second day that was yesterday, you've seen a very strong message of industry and the DIRFI program, partnership in designing the future generation of processors. As you know, it is very important to have design wins that are anchored by industry names. And yesterday you saw Bell, Sony, ISRO, the Atomic Energy Department, all of them uh, endorsing and working with the DIRFI program. And I said, as I said yesterday, it used to be in the 80s and 90s, that the world saw it as Intel inside when we talked about microprocessors. And maybe yesterday and all of the efforts in the coming months will add to that, uh, that narrative by saying DIR5 inside or India inside. So that was about yesterday. And today, again, I'm extremely happy that companies like Scient, who are leaders in ERD, are partnering to now manufacture designed products. So yesterday was about designing for the future. Today is about designing and manufacturing for India. So both the Navic project and the IoT uh, 5G product, uh, product, both of them are absolutely brilliant examples uh, about what India is capable of doing. And if you read the three days, there is a clear message uh, that is going out to everybody who's observing this conference 
and who is a participant in this conference that our ambitions are real the prime minister's vision will be actualized and the important components of that vision which is manufacturing design and innovation and the ability to link it up to real design wins and real products is 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 vibrant so uh, that is the message of these 3 days in terms of these press conferences and mous throughout those 3 days you've also seen a very important other underpinning in terms of mous which is about talent you have seen the multiple mous that have been signed whether it is with uh, iit mumbai or uh, with uh, lcna and uh, semi these are going to address the issue that has been raised repeatedly during the 3 days by the leaders of the semiconductor ecosystem that the one big challenge is about talent and having professor rao on the advisory committee vin dham on the advisory committee and all of these mous in creating an ecosystem uh, addresses that squarely so that is the other message that comes out of these mous uh, so i just wanted to say that uh in terms of what is the learning and what are the outcomes uh, of course the 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 three day conference is not over yet i have a, a slot at the end that says uh, concluding remarks i think you will stay tuned for that if i tell you everything now you will not stay for that so there is an incentive for me to uh, wait till that last concluding session before i tell you what we have learned but i will give you a broad uh, uh, idea of what we have learned we have learned that the direction that our country is embarked on is the right direction and it has been repeatedly validated by le global leaders whether they are shiv shivraman or sanjay mehrotra or uh, or intel's uh, you know raja koduri or uh, all of these people have essentially validated that the opportunity for india to be a significant player in the global supply chain of innovation and hardware and products and systems is now is real and we can do it and we will do it so including remarks abhi but that is uh picking up from the from the conference of dlis uh the whether they are under dlis so whether the dli norms need to be modified so we have got some feedback from this conference that maybe the dli has been designed to be very narrow uh maybe there is a cap on funding that is too sharp, too too restrictive we will examine all that it is i i want to say this very clearly that the 10 billion dollar package the 76000 crore package is for the ecosystem and design and innovation is a very important part of the ecosystem talent is a very important part of the ecosystem so if there is a need to uh, uh, to sort of redesign some of those pieces we will do it but uh, all of those design projects and all of the startups that want to get into design and innovation and create these products whether they're dirfi or any other original design the dli scheme is there to support them that statement i want to make emphatically that's it scope of various mous which companies have signed like cadence has also signed i just yeah. explained those three days of mous i gave you the context in which those mous are signed these are all building blocks they signal to different elements of our strategy for the ecosystem and i think you you, you understand what i just said yeah, and the press release also details out these mous yes okay thank you sir thank uh, you thank you yeah enjoy your lunch yes uh, however the those uh, want to visit the stalls you can also join uh, uh, the sessions at 2 o'clock